Now I'm not much of a much of a fashion guy, but these pants, these are my summer pants. They're my favorite summer pants, but they're all destroyed. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this day off by treating myself to some new summer pants. How you doing? I'm great. Do you have another pair of pants that look like these pants? These are my favorite pants, but they fell apart on me. See these pants. They're just great pants, but look. And then look. Are these too big on me? I feel great. New pants, great way to start the day. Morning, afternoon. Good morning, how are you doing? Great. I love you so much. What up, what up, Dudley Alexander on the check-in, what's going on? I love you so much. She's so much more excited than you are. I love you so much. Bye guys. But do you like my new pants? Uh, just yeah, not bad. They're my summer <laughs> pants. <laughs> They're like uh, parachute. They're, they're not like, parachute pants. No, like, they're, they're like made they're, out of like army. They're like pants and slacks. Oh wow! Yeah, nice. that's you could you could go swimming in those. Your hair looks nice. It looks mature, Jack. Thank you. I'm trying to grow up a little bit. How's the lighting grid? The lighting grid is totally unfinished. But <laughs> Jake hasn't right. seen it yet, has he? No, he's in California. Oh my God. How much weight can these hold? Can I do pull-ups from these? Yeah, I don't see there's a problem. Slade, I think this means we're actually gonna have to start making stuff soon. Where's that run? I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I know you are. Who's coming in? I know I've been like fairly cryptic about explaining like exactly what we're doing, how we're doing it, what Beam means now, what Jake and all these new people are doing. I need to make a separate video that is just me walking you through all of that. And I'll do that. I just don't want to like piecemeal it in the vlog because, I don't know, it, it's a lot to explain. This channel has just crossed the 7 million subscriber threshold. And let me be the first to say thank you very much for making it happen. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, but, rather than congratulating me on this one, my dear friend, Oscar, just did something huge on his own. Something that I think is, well, fewer people have done what Oscar just did than have gotten seven million subscribers. So, let's go visit Oscar, and I need each and every one of you to send him a congratulatory thing in his thing that I'll link below. Oscar, I, I was just saying to the YouTube audience that today is the day that I pass 7 million subscribers on my channel, but that I don't want any congratulations. Instead, I want to transfer all congratulations to you uh, for your recent achievement. Thanks, man. All right, so Oscar, in addition to being a YouTuber, link below, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oscar is a feature filmmaker, like he makes movie theater movies. And him and two of his collaborators made, and a bunch of other people, made a feature film. Oscar was the producer, like the producer on this movie. And it just got into... The most important film festival in the world. Yes, it just got into, and didn't just get into the most important, it got into the Cannes Film Festival. Congrats, Oscar. Thanks. It's, but it is, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's Josh and Benny Safdie's movie, who used to work upstairs in this amazing building. Right, they directed City. it, you produced it. True. Huge congrats to you and Josh and Benny, but like, holy shit, this guy just went big time. Oscar Boyson premiering, what's it called? Good Time. Good Time. All right, congrats, Oscar. Thanks, man. Later. Later. I love the fact that my friends and the people that I work with are finding success all over this space. You 
know that uh, that girl I married named Candace? Well, Candace's new company called Billy. She's doing an event, like a like a party, like a big get together to kind of like celebrate the initial launch of that company. In any event, she asked me to go up to her office so I can help them brainstorm how to do this event. It's not that I don't want to go, it's just that I do have better things to be doing, but you gotta, you gotta support the wife. Look at this nerd, nice bike, man. <laughs> What's up? So much safer than this? Way, way safer. Where's your helmet? What's the range, Sean? Hours. Really? Hours. What's your um? What's the acceleration? Oh, that bastard! Where's your helmet? I forgot my helmet. Don't wear one I do wear a helmet. I do wear a helmet. You're just toying with me on that. Yeah, I got, I got oh the power, God. man. You do look, you look dignified on that, John. These guys want to send you one. Yeah, have them send you one. I emailed. I put you on an email. With Did you? Peter Lee. Cool. Yeah, because if there's one thing I don't have enough of in my life, it's tiny electric, motorized devices. Motorcycles. All right, this is my turn. Good to see you, Sean. Time to see the lady. One of the reasons that this city is so magical, literally, every time you step outside, it's like a, it's like a story just hits you in the face. What? Hi. What's happening in here? Okay, I'm here. How can I how can I be of assistance to you? Okay, so basically. Okay, I'm listening. Now to get the press people there, we're going to have to come and three races. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still listening. Then, what time is, I, I just don't know, like. What is the objective of the event? Because I want to do it because it's cool. Like let, let me pitch it to the audience. Should I not put this in the vlog? Billy is Candace's new company and they're going to do a big launch party. And at that party, they're going to do this thing, which is awesome, which is take a gold bracelet, like a gold wire. Am I telling Jane. you? A gold chain and have it welded to your wrist. So you have to like sit there and there's like an old man with safety glasses who's like <laughs> and it's permanently attached to your wrist and the only way to get it off is with bolt cutters. Then the tattoo artist, Jeremy, is gonna be there tattooing Candace's drawings on people's hands and arms for free. What else is gonna make the night special? Free alcohol. That's it, that's all we got. Okay, that's where we'd like you to come in, YouTube viewers. Please comment on Candace's Twitter, maybe not below because I'm not going to read them, what she should do at this event to make it interesting. Oh, I wanted to have a petting goat. Baby you want to have goats. a petting zoo? I want baby goats. What about getting like a New York City hot dog vendor to give out free hot dogs in the street? I can't be in this because I'm wearing a roommate sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in. What about getting a hot dog vendor to yeah, give free hot dogs in the street? Sure Could do that. Who likes hot dogs though? <laughs> All right, bye. You've been extremely helpful. I don't believe you. Bye. Wait, I wasn't helpful? A little helpful? No? The tattoo artist was a good one. Okay. Bye, guys. And that's what marriage looks like. Nice bike! Thanks, man. Why don't you wait till you see the project? Huh? Uh, Candace, don't do that. <laughs> Feels so good. Can you do something that's not gross so I can have an ender for today's video? A what? Can you, I just need an ending for the video. You need a happy ending? I think this is the first time you've ever cooked here. <laughs> we've lived here for a year. She said, can I go buy us food from that food court? And I was like, hmm, why don't you go get some <laughs> fresh salmon? You made her do it? She Thanks. loves cooking. Thanks, June.